The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX heading lower. Have been, still continuing, should be continuing until June the 6th or 5th, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, we're very close to that level of 2730 in the s and p 500 that we posted in here many many times so pay close attention to it a few things that are really interesting on the horizon today from a trading purpose we're having a pretty nice rally here in gold nothing really in silver and platinum can't get out of its own way take a quick look at gold and then i want to switch over something that i think is a little bit more important if there is such a thing but if you take a look at this chart here that we're going to show which is the chart for the June gold. Now we're switching over to August gold today. There is no July contract as those of you that have traded gold know. So August will be big and then after that there's no September and then there'll be an October and then a December. But we will be going into August gold next week. This is still the June because we're very close to that target within about four bucks. That's nothing more than a nice little butterfly pattern, A, B, C, D format. This so far, folks, you have to basically look at a you know bear market rally here in these things. The silver's broken down, platinum's broken down, gold's hanging on by a thread, and I mean a thread, more like dental floss than a thread. But uh, I'll take a look. Ah, Ruby would like to see the sugar, the sweet. Let's just get up here and bring up sugar, the sweet. We'll look at that October sugar because that's the one that we've uh, decided to keep our hands on. Uh, really doing much, not doing much. Uh, boy, just a second here. We got to get this uh, thing done here. Hold on a second, and uh, we'll get this sugar up so you can see it. Let's just, uh, I, you know, I've got to do it the, the easy way, so give me one second. Uh, there's the one second. All I need to do now is to uh, get in here and, uh, no, 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 you don't have to be sorry, Ruby. This is good. This is what we like to hear. This is what helps my job, folks. Hey, let me explain something to you folks. Uh, this is not an easy gig. You know, I have to prepare about an hour and a half to two hours every day to give you something that's interesting and stuff, you know, and, uh, you know, I understand that most people don't give a whittly twiddly, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So uh, pay, pay, pay close attention to it. Okay, here comes Sugar the Sweet for uh, Ruby. And uh, we'll get this up here so that you'll be able to see it. You'll be there. You go. There's the sugar. You see, we've held up here. We've had a five-day rally, but it didn't go anywhere, Ruby. That's the uh, that's the bad part. There is very good support. It's bouncing off of that. But Ruby, the one that's been, uh, you know, the leader uh, of the pack has been the, uh, you know, the cup of Joe. Look, look, look at the cup of Joe here. I mean, this is the one you talked about, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, and we were making that uh, one three five pattern on the bottom. And now you see where we are. We've exploded above the 382 rally of the high from October of last year when we went from 94 to 124. We rallied 30 cents a pound. Look what happens if we rally 30 cents a pound this time. It takes us right up to 116, which is the 78% retracement. You'd still be in a bear market. So, you know, I'd be watching for a pullback in this to be a buyer. We've exploded out of this area, that 135 pattern. Coming off of the 127 is just uh, spot on. It almost makes me want to trade coffee. And then I hear the voice of old Grandma Pez saying, whenever you have the urge to trade coffee, go lay down on the couch until that urge goes away. And for the last 69 years, I've been able to do that. So that's what we're watching. Now, we did have a really interesting concept. Uh, I've looked at this before, but I hadn't looked at it for many, many years. And one of our folks down in Houston, Texas said, have you ever run the Bradley model with other commodities? 
Yankees? And the answer is yes, we did, but we never did anything as far as publishing it. We didn't do anything as far as statistically looking at it. But let's take a look here because one is really interesting here. Here is the old 30-year Treasury bond, and it is a one-year, well, seven-month picture of the uh, bonds. This is the June bond. We're switching over to September now, but you'll notice here that we have a Bradley model that's lining up pretty good. Now, that that does not surprise me because Bradley was based on the 10 planets, and what he did was he took the work of the guy from Yale, the astrophysicist. I believe his name was Burr, and not Raymond Burr, but something, some other kind of Burr, and what he did, um, they had already they had known this for quite some time, that some, some planets have a positive uh, energy point or valence, and the I think that's what they called it, and the others have a negative. So if if you have a positive uh, matching a negative, it depends on what the value is, and that's how the Bradley model started out. That you have those little values on this matrix, and then you add the matrix, and that's what gets you these Bradley points and Bradley dates. When you got a whole bunch of them coming together, it's a key date, and that's the, what you're looking for. Uh, many times the Bradley will follow along perfectly, and then all of a sudden, bada bing, bada boom, it goes the other way, and you don't know what's going on. That's why, that's why the patterns will get you to the promised land, and uh, you know that's really what you're, you know what. You're you're really trying to do when you're when you're seeing some of these things that that's what's going on. But folks, uh, I, I do want to bring a couple of these to your attention here. Uh, we'll we'll bring up the gold here, and you'll see that with the gold market, you know, there's been a little bit of a key dates, you know, and uh, the, no, the Bradley model has not shifted at all. It is just spot on. I mean, from uh, what we were looking at with the, uh, you know, with the, uh, if you remember. Uh, we we posted that in the newsletter uh, again, and it's just absolutely perfect. It looks like it's coming in right around uh, June 5th or 6th. That's the date that uh, it that it's. Uh, I guess we should look at it again since we've asked a question, and we need to get a few timing things out of the way here, so I don't have to uh, apologize for things that I do wrong. Which is, if we did that. We'll be, uh, boy, this crude oil, man, it just doesn't have any friends today. Let's get this up here, and we'll take a look at this, and we'll uh, we'll be able to see where. Yeah, it's it's lining up just uh, just about uh, just about spot on. Let me uh, let me get this up here so you folks can take a quick look at this, and uh, then we will uh, then we'll get over. I've got to turn off the crude oil. It's just getting down to a 61% retracement before it goes to the 78% level. But let's take a look here at the uh, at this Bradley model, and, and, oh, Larry, you said you promised you'd do this, and now it's not doing what it was promised to do. Oh, shucks. All right, give me one second here, and we will uh, bring it up here. Where is it? Oh, dear, 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 dear. Here it is. I finally found it. And here we go. Um, oh, right. Um, there we go. You'll see that it's still coming in around June 5th or 6th is what it looks like. It's been following nicely since December 26th. Ruby's asking, what is my uh, opinion of the Brazilian real when trading softs like coffee and sugar, etc.? Ruby, I do not trade the softs. And the only thing I know about the Brazilian real is it's from Brazil. That's all I know. End of story. I wish I did. Been down there once to see uh, Sugarloaf Mountain, but... Uh, I took the Concord down there back in 1993. But anyway, let's uh, let's take a quick break here. When we get back, I want to talk to you about the Bondolis. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
the TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website, you can still visit us at the same tfnn.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new tfnn.com now and experience all the upgrades. tfnn.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, before we get to the Bondolis, let's take a look at one of these uh, uh, flying Walindas uh, to the downside. Here is the... Uh, Okay, can you overlay the uh, 1987 Bradley with the 1929 Bradley? I can do the 1987 Bradley. I've done all those. Uh, let's just do the cattle here first, and then we'll talk about that Bradley. But you'll notice that once we broke that support there at 106 in cattle, you know, after being there for two weeks and breaking that support, that is not good, folks. So it's continuing to head down. So uh, Marshall's asking, would you overlay the 1987 Bradley? with the uh, 2019 Bradley. You, you really can't do that, Marshall, because the, each year is separate. That's why it's so important, because you can do these two, three, four hundred thousand years in advance, but each 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 year is different. That's why uh, it, it is important. But the overlay in 1987 uh, was very good. I don't, I have that, you know, in stored somewhere on this doggone computer, but where I don't know, I'll try to find it maybe for next week. But uh, right now it is following the, the Bradley like uh, we expected it to do. Now, whether it's going to continue or not, I don't know. All I know is that that ABCD structure on the S&P takes you to 2730. We're, you know, 30 handles away. And, uh, you know, that's not very far. Are, and we've got three or four more days to get there. We could go a lot lower than that or maybe not make it at all. We don't know what the answer is. So uh, all I can tell you today, folks, uh, is in an hour, 10, between 10 and 10.30, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff happening. So, you know, keep your, keep your ears to the grindstone today to see uh, how some of this stuff uh, looks out. The August 25th high, 1987, was... Um, harmonic convergence it did nail the bradley model was spot on right there and the reason why it was uh marshall you had five planets in the sign of leo 
I mean, can you imagine that, all of them? I mean, it was lined up so perfectly that they called it harmonic uh, convergence, you know. So we'll see. Well, you get lucky once in a while uh, in the crude oil. The crude oil has been one that has been, uh, you know, going down quite a bit. So, so since we're speaking of crude oil here, just take a look here with uh, crude oil and the Bradley. We'll just get this up here and take a look at it. You'll notice here, and, and believe me, I am not using the Bradley on any of this, but you can see here that it does follow relatively uh, well, and we're, we're going to be doing, probably getting ready for a bottom on June 5th or 6th in crude oil, too. So uh, all, all that Bradley model is, folks, is a compilation of a whole bunch of cycles put into a, an X and Y. The sound, broadsword to Danny boy, broadsword to Danny boy, come in Danny boy, broadsword to Danny boy, broadsword to Danny boy, come in Danny boy, can you can you folks hear me? Okay, good. All right, there we've got the uh, the sound back. Uh, but the when when you're doing these uh, uh, when you're looking at these cycles on these x and y coordinates, you know. <laughs> I keep saying this, it's like, you know, beating a beating a, a stuffed animal. But the uh, you don't know which one's going to work and which one's isn't. If you did, you'd have the Holy Grail. And the Holy Grail is that really important nine-inch cycle, folks, from your left ear to your right ear. Because once you've got that one right, the rest of it just lines up really, really good. So... That's it. I'm, I'm glad that you folks are interested in the history of this because, uh, you know, did a lot of work. We did 160 years, I believe, of uh, Bradley stuff um, is in, with Mr. Twentyman, whose birthday is coming up on the 5th of uh, June. The old cowboy is going to be 74, believe it or not. Anyway, um, if you'll take a look at what's happening now, we've got big things happening, boys and girls. Big, 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 big. We've been talking about it for a long time. And guess what? The fat lady's up and singing, and she is dancing. Let's get up and take a look at it. You'll notice here is the Treasury Bondolis. We got up to 154.12. We're trading at 153.25. That is the number that we were looking at with the flight to quality last night that was going on because the stock market was in a proverbial spiral down. That pushed those higher notes when a tad bit higher. And so, but this is all the stuff that you're looking for, folks. If you like pattern recognition, and I certainly do, you got all the things going. And if we look at the thing that we looked at on Monday, which was from our friends at the, uh, <laughs> it's more like it's more like a noose and a, and a bridge is what you're looking for, Peter. If you take a look here uh, at this uh, sentiment uh, for the uh, bonds, and now this sentiment's going to be higher than 91% because we've exploded. Those yields have dropped even more which is what you want to see. But this is nothing more than a, you know, bear market rally, uh, you know, going back, uh, you know, my God, the high was 177. This is this is really nothing uh, going on. If we take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the Treasury notes. And that this is why it's important here this morning, it, because we're switching over between June and September. And that's why you're seeing these these unusual gaps in here is because of that difference. But uh, they are completing ABCD patterns. Um, it's a bearish pattern. You got sentiment. You got all the other stuff going that you're supposed to be looking at, and um, we'll see. And not only that, but you're getting people scared in the stock market, which they should be scared because we're now down to an ABCD pattern in the S and P at uh, 2730, and not there yet. But I mean, we might not get there. All I know is that that's what we're watching as we look at some of these things. Okay, I don't know what DSI is, Steve, so I wish I knew. I do know Jake very well. He lives out there in uh, California now, but uh, better get three. Oh, no, 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 Mr. O'Brien, Mr. O'Brien, sir, Mr. O'Brien, sir, this shall never happen. Not in your wildest dreams. They can they can take they can take interest rates to minus 46 percent, and you're never going to see 177 in bonds again. Not a chance. As they say in uh, Tijuana, no way, Jose. 
This is a rally in a bear market, folks. That's all it really is. It's nothing more than that. I mean, you know, that's uh, that's what you're looking at. Hey, you want to see a rally in a bear market? Come on. Let's let's take a look here now. Let's Before you get the life rats for ready, let's take a look at this one here. Look, this is the TLT, boys and girls. This is the... This is if you're long bonds, the TLT has been going up. And look where we hit today, 131.26. I think we hit that already. I did this in the middle of the night. So we're right up there at that same level. This is a weekly. Look at the high we had back there at 143. This is nothing more than an ABCD rally back. Now, maybe it backs off and goes higher. Maybe I'm full of baloney. Well, well absolutely sure I'm full of baloney. But uh, to me, it looks like that's what we're watching. Let's look at, let's look at something else that is important here. Oh, we got a break coming up yet? Yeah. Let's take a look at the bund. Here's the uh, here's one we've been following. This is the old bund across the pond here. You can see the bund. What is it doing? Making a beautiful, beautiful uh, butterfly pattern up here at the 1.618 expansion. Just as nice as you'd like to see. And if you take a look at this uh, on the overhaul, uh, you'll look and see we're right at this uh, big thing right here and we'll be able to see there we go 877-927-6648 Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, we're back, folks. We're going to take a look at the dollar yen here. 
And as you can see, we've got some really strong support down there at 107.24. Um, that looks really interesting because that would be a really nice spot if the S&P gets down to that 2700 level. Uh, there's a very high correlation between this cross rate and the S&P, as most of you know. So keep a very, very close eye on that one. And since, since we're talking about the end, let's just take a look at the uh, Bradley model over the U.S. dollar index. And here, here is one that, you know, really doesn't really, it is a beautiful uh, bullish Gartley there in the end. It's, uh, uh, it's about as perfect as you can get. But look at the, the dollar index with the Bradley. I mean, the key dates are pretty good, but uh, following the rest of it, I mean, it's nothing like what you see in the stock market and also in the bond market. Uh, so you got to do each one of these separately. Um, that's folks keep it as simple as possible. You you don't need a whole lot of stuff. You know, uh, you know I, I see I see charts that people have that have so many oscillators and things on them that I mean they, you couldn't understand what was going on, no matter what. But you know if it works for them, you know more power to them. That's uh that's the bottom line of what we're what we're sort of paying attention to here. So let's remember that. I wanted to uh, bring a couple of things up. Uh, uh, to your attention here, uh, and that is, I, I do want to show you the TBT, which is the uh, reverse. You know, if you've been uh, long bonds, this is the ETF for the TBD, and uh, you can use a 198-day moving average. That'll give you a two-day lead on. Uh, well, you get that same lead with a fifth of scotch, but I don't drink scotch. You can see here the three drive to a bottom. This is the exact opposite of the three drive to a top that we're seeing in the interest rates, TLT. So that's uh, neither here nor there. So keep a close eye on that. We've had a couple questions uh, last few days about Tesla. Folks, Tesla looks like a dying quail down there. It's got 170, I think, written all over it. It just doesn't look like it wants to, uh, to do very much. Remember the FANG stocks have looked very, very, very poorly for quite some time. So remember that that's a, a really good, uh, really good indicator is that when these markets don't rally, when the news is good, that's a sign that something is uh, very, very important. You know what I mean? So that's, uh, that's how we look at it. Okay, let's uh, br a break uh, stride here a little bit. I want to uh, uh, tell you folks about uh, the uh, situation that we're seeing here in the corn market we have tremendously bullish news in the corn uh, we really have now we've been up to test that uh, 1.618 expansion uh, several times now and we've not been able to break out of the highs that we made on Tuesday I believe so uh, this is going to be quite interesting because uh, we're seeing a really strong resistance up in this area. The big problem lies, and I'm going to do my best to have Sime only on next week because he is busier than a one-armed paper hanger, as you can imagine, because some of these farmers, and you get a smaller farm, say, four or 500 acres, you know, at 5,000 bucks an acre, you're talking about a family. Family, it's got about uh, three million bucks tied up in the f in the farm. And if they've hedged that corn and it goes against them, and they have to, you know, buy it back, and and corn would go nuts, like the six or seven dollars, they lose the whole farm. I mean, a whole whole generation uh, can lose everything. So it's important that you know they monitor this because if it gets really bad, that's something. Now, if they didn't. If they didn't hedge it, if they didn't put a, a contract out, then, you know, it's no big deal. They just don't make any money this year. But, uh, you know, they're trying to put the corn in, so they're going to lose a little bit there. But if nothing happens, but look at this, tomorrow's the 1st of June. Remember the old adage, the corn is as high as an elephant eye on the 4th of July? <laughs> this old corn is going to barely be popping out of the ground by the 4th of July. So it's going to be uh, really interesting what happens. And we're only one crop away. From famine in the world, folks. If the U.S. ever ever had a, a crop failure like we had in the 30s, the Dust Bowl, uh, you'd be looking at war because wars are fought, fought over food and power, and uh, this would be one that would really be uh, really be something to look at. Remember, you've got 1.7 million uh, Chinese and 1.9 billion from uh, from India. And uh, so you're you're looking at some people that really need uh, really need the food if it happens. Now I don't know if it's going to happen or not. And believe me, we're still at low prices, relatively speaking. So it's just important here the fact that they can't get this done 
doggone corn crop in, and boy, it is still wet. I talked to my sister yesterday down there in Terre Haute, Indiana, and uh, the old Wabash River is still running over at the side. So it's uh, pretty wet down in that area. So let's keep uh, keep a close eye on that. Now, since we were talking about a little while ago about the E-mini S&P, uh, that that uh, pattern that we were looking at, which is that uh, ABCD structure that we've been looking at ever since the 1st of May. We'll get this up here. You'll see that we're looking at around 27.30. We're trading at 27.60 and change, I believe, right now. I'm not even sure. But if we take a look at the really interesting one, folks, uh, from a really long-term perspective and a broader market perspective is the New York Stock Exchange Index. And uh, this is this is where we are here. You see that we're very, very close to a 382 retracement. A couple of good down days would get us down there to that 120 or 12,200 level. We're now trading at 12,393. So 200 points lower in that New York Stock Exchange Index is going to take you right down to that same level. And that's going to be an ABCD uh, correction in a bull market. And Mr. Gartley said on page 222, pay close attention to that. It's going to be real interesting because we're coming into these times and whether they work or not, we don't know, but that's what pattern recognition is all about. You pays your money and you take your choice, and that's how it works. All right, now we have a question for, about Norm Winsky, and the question is, does Mr. Winsky make money? My guess is he must be doing pretty good. He's been doing it for 40 years, and I, I do know he's doing okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, he uses some shorter-term timing stuff. But uh, I think he does a pretty good job, uh, more or less. And someone's just asked about Shane Smolian. I just Skyped with him just a few, uh, not more than a couple minutes ago. We're hopefully have Shane on next week, and he's doing incredibly well. So uh, that's, uh, you know, there's a lot to be said about the astrology stuff. And if you look at the uh, Timer Digest, you know, the top 10 people, guess what, boys and girls? <laughs> They're either pattern recognition or astrologers. You know, you got Tim Boston in there. You got Stan Harley in there. You got the leader of the pack, Steve Rhodes. Uh, you know, my goodness, there's just uh, Kerry Sismansky. He's one of my uh, really good buddies, my student from here in uh, Tucson. So, you know, this, those folks, uh, it, it actually works. The problem is it doesn't work all the time. And that's the real key. In fact, I had a really interesting conversation last night around, uh, oh, it was about 6.30 here in Tucson. And the uh, it was from uh, our, one of my students over in uh, Hong Kong, been working with me for a couple of years, been struggling, makes a little, loses a little, makes a little, loses a little. But something happened about five months ago, right around December, something clicked. And he said, all I did, he says, I was doing these charts. And he said, all of a sudden, I could start to see it like it was in front of me, and I didn't have to draw a line or do a ratio. I could see everything. And I said, well, you got the Eureka moment. And when that happens, uh, if you remember Archimedes said Eureka when he's found the buoyancy of gold. Anyway, let's take a quick break here to pay some bills. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when 
and gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your gold report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about something that I like to talk about because uh, I got to make up some time here. I don't want to keep repeating myself like a like the you know the third monkey. Anyway, let's take a quick look at a couple of things I mentioned earlier uh, today. That there is just a lot of timing things happening between 10 and 11 o'clock, and I'm just going to share with you a couple of things. Here is the forecast that we were looking at for the S&P last night, and you'll see here this was the European forecast. You see that's what it's done so far. You know, not bad. You know, not perfect, but certainly, you know, not too bad. But let's look at see what's happening today uh, in the, the front of the S&P. Now, this is, remember, this is a, uh, this is a uh, uh, neural network. And basically what you, you see there where it says 11 o'clock, bada bing, bada boom. Well, Dollar Bill just posted some stuff from Tim Boston, and Dr. Al Larson from Chaos Clinic. And they have a time in that blue line there between uh, right around 1130. So uh, that's close enough for me. Watch to see where it is. Uh, at that point, if you got a nice pattern there at around 11 o'clock, especially a nice ABCD, well, ideally you'd like to see 2730, and that's 25 panels from where we are. Whether we do that or not, I don't know, but watch that at around 11 o'clock. And not only that, folks, I mean, I this doesn't happen very often. I follow 12 things, and uh, I mean, all 12 of them, I mean, every single one of them say between 10 and 11 o'clock, something really, really big is going to happen. Now, I'm not sure what that means, but take a look here at uh, the little slippery one from, uh, from the Middle East. Let's take a look at the uh, crude oil. Look at crude oil here. Here it is at 10.15. It should be making a bottom. Now, forget about the price. This is all related to time. It's a time vibration that is, uh, you know, it's, you know, it finds the, like the Beach Boy says, the good vibration. So that's what it's doing. It has nothing to do with price. You notice that we made a lower low than we did at 5.30 in the morning. We took that low out by just a little bit, haven't gone anywhere. But watch it at 10.15. If you have something there at 10.15 it, it looks interesting in crude oil, then maybe you take a little nibble at it. If you don't like it, you don't have to. If you want to fade it, do that too. It's just a prediction. I'll follow through with some of these maybe on Monday. And we'll, we'll see if it works. But just every single thing that I have today, I'm talking corn, wheat, soybeans, uh, crude oil, gold, treasury bonds, stock market, every single one of them, it, natural gas even, is all lining up at around 10, 11 o'clock. That means that uh, the first couple of hours may be bad, and maybe, you know, the tweet comes from the, the, uh, the White House, and bada bing, bada boom, things change. All I know is be prepared. Like the Boy Scouts, 
All right, let's keep a close eye on that because that's what we're watching here. We'll see if that's going to be the uh, the other case to see what's going on here. All right, now, um, ran out of questions. Anybody have any questions? I have ran out of gas, as they say in the trade. You know what? Since we're talking about gas, and that's one thing I am usually uh, familiar with, let's take a look here. I know you folks don't trade natural gas very often, but this one's really setting up quite nicely and that is this one right here. You'll be able to see it. The same type of thing. This is uh, this is Mother God and Country when you when you see one like this. So bear with me here a second. And believe me, folks, it was not easy to make these types of predictions. This was done on really big, big computers over a long period of time. And uh, you'll see. Go here is natural gas. A great thing to trade. Moves $100 a point, but boy, it gives some wild swings. And you can see here, 1045 in natural gas. Keep an eye on that one. And, you know, the one thing, the good part about this, folks, if you do this and you're, and it's 20 minutes later than the time you're supposed to be looking and nothing's happening, it ain't working because it works right away or it doesn't work at all. That's the real advantage of it because you just look at what you're, uh, you know what you're looking at, so I don't know. That's what I see. Okay, we got uh, four more minutes to go. Any other questions that anybody wants to ask? Uh, no other questions. Well, I didn't plan enough for everything. Uh, just overall, well, the only uh, someone's asking a question about Al and gold. I'll just put that gold up. Uh, gold's making a a really nice A B C D in a bear market. So that's it. Uh, that that target in the gold. This is the June gold. That that would be around 1301. I think we're trading 1299. But August is the one to trade. There's still a lot of open interest in the gold. Uh, so that's oh my goodness. You know what I did today? I forgot to check to see if there was anything exciting in the open interest in the bonds. Because if open interest in bonds fell yesterday, oh my goodness. Let's just take a quick look here since we're off to the races. And we'll uh, double check this. It'll only take me a second. I'm doing it right now. I'm going into www.cme.com when I go to interest rates. And I want to see what the open interest was from yesterday. And oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Boys and girls, get your selling shoes on, baby. The pate is over in the bandoles. Open interest in the 10-year note future, the biggest of them all, in a big, moving, screaming upside potential, dropped a quarter of a million contracts. The two-year note future dropped 86,000 contracts. The 30-year treasury bond, uh, the five-year note dropped 170,000 contracts. And all we got to do now is get down to, the, oh, boy, this is, uh, you're not selling bonds today, folks. Treasury bond futures down 62,000. I know that June is switching over to September, but they're not rolling over, folks. There's no more buyers out there. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is really important. Let me show you. Let me show you what this means. Just uh, shouldn't get too excited, Larry. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Let's get up here and take a look at. So I want to show you what this means because this was one of the things we were doing in Hong Kong. Let's get this weekly chart up here without too much trouble. Those of you that have been around for a long time know that I don't get excited very often. At my age, it's best not to get too excited. But uh, here is, here's the chart. Just give me a second to bring it into the room here because this is what you're looking at. Uh, this is really important, folks, that open interest. I, 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 I'm really sorry I didn't do it ahead of time. Uh, oh, I'm glad I did so. Hold on. Let's just uh, bring this up here. And I want you to see it because it's that important uh, yeah, this is it I think yeah here we go here is the gold market 1987 at 1932 bucks an ounce you see that back there at that high there 1932 in August of uh, I think it was July or August of 19 uh, 2011 I was in Hong Kong I was being interviewed by the Newspaper. I saw this open interest dropping like crazy with the market running up. That was nothing more than short covering, and I said the the party's over in gold, and uh, it was. Any boys and girls, pay take deep breaths. <gasps> Thank you, Marshall. Thank you. I'm sorry, but I have a very large position at short bonds. <laughs> Let's. Uh, anyway, folks, stop and think. The the market went up with short covering. That means the buyers. 
where there were no buyers there. The only buyers there were people covering their shorts. That's why the open interest was dropping. You've got a market supposedly breaking out a new high ground and there's no players. Shut the front door and raise the rent. You know what the name of that is? That's EOP. Anybody that gets that right wins a big prize. EOP. An old adage down from the old Chicago Mercantile Exchange, which means end of party. So that means the bonds will only go up about 10 days in a row to prove me wrong, but that's neither here nor there. Hey, we got to pay a few bills, don't we here? Yeah, I think the old clock on the wall says we're almost done. Sorry for getting so emotional, folks, but helps keep me awake. And at my age, it keeps the old blood pressure at the old range of, uh, you know, 240 to 250. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart on open interest right out of Mr. Murphy's book. If you have price rising and open interest falling like we have now in bonds, notes, the market is weakening. Repeat, if you have prices rising and open interest falling, market is reasoning, uh, weakening. The reason why is then the players are leaving. So that's what happens. And how does it fall? Very quickly, I might add. So pay attention to that, boys and girls. For Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, that's what we're watching. Uh, keep an eye. We're still looking at 2730 or so. Uh, we got the weekend coming up. Uh, wouldn't want to be long stocks into the weekend, of course, but... Uh, 
Uh, we got a big date coming up here this week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What day is that? June comes in on the uh, the 5th is uh, Wednesday. So, uh, oh, wait, yeah, the 5th is Wednesday. So sometime between Wednesday and Thursday, we should be looking to put on our buying shoes here, uh, maybe in the stock market to see if this ABCD market is uh, going to hold. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so any tweet could happen and change everything, but right now, if I had any uh, lessons to say is take a little uh, example of 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock today, folks. And at 1130, if it's not working, it's totally bofacia somasi, also known as BS. So uh, remember, these do fail, and you have to protect yourself, mainly because of people like myself to give you ideas. And sometimes the ideas don't work, boys and girls. you got to take that responsibility. I'm wrong a lot. I'm wrong, right once in a while, too, but watch this time frame, 10 to 11. We'll review it, of course, uh, when we uh, come in next Monday, and like we did on some of the other things, uh, right or wrong. Uh, we'll try to do our best here, for sure. But try to do something nice for somebody this weekend, folks. A lot of people out there have a whole lot less than we do, so live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you on the flip side Monday morning. Uh oh, I cut it.